Hello everyone, my name is Jung-woo Park. Um, I'm architect from South Korea, working at Umdash Group Ventures as a BIM specialist. I'm also principal architect at Point On Studio, which is my own firm in South Korea. Um, today, um, I'm going to introduce about um, parametric BIM workflow using visual programming. Um, in our industry, we commonly use Rhino and Grasshopper for parametric design tool, but Rhino and Grasshopper is nowadays linked to many other applications um, that uh, we can use programming and also uh, the data interpolation is perfect through uh, Microsoft product, uh, products or many other third-party applications. So using visual programming, we can document 2D graphic documentation as far as rendering and also we can use it for game engine and um, 3D CAD modeling tools such as 3ds Max or Blender is also really work well with uh, visual programming and the um, infrastructure software is also integrating with Rhino because Rhino supports many different platform uh, file formats and the BIM authoring software, no, commonly known Revit or Archicad, uh, is also um, linked to Grasshopper. And the uh, BricsCAD has now also a direct link with uh, Rhino and Grasshopper. And the digital fabrication tool, we have currently many in, like Inventor or you know Solid SolidWorks. Many SurfCam and KUKA for the robotic um, fabrication, they all has um, own plugin for Grasshopper, so the data flow is seamless between them. And also BIM coordination tools such as Navisource or Solibri um, or Tekra, they all support IFC file and the Rhino can also export IFC model with some third party applications. And the, you know, uh, for facility management software in our organization, we are developing Prometric uh, on the NeoTwin uh, department. We also uh, use Grasshopper for different simulation. In many cases, energy simulation is using uh, Rhino and Grasshopper. Um, and also cloud coordination tools such as uh, ShapeDriver or Sketchfab, they, they all, um, we can, the, the Grasshopper export function can support different file format. And we also can visualize data in our organization, the contact currently uh, rapidly developing with the parametric design tool. Uh, here is a site context uh, analysis using uh, Autodesk, um, one of the Autodesk product uh, called Dynamo. And the, the rich structural data can be um, visualized in Power BI, such as Power BI, and the, the data is collected from the visual programming tool. And also for the feasibility study, to optimize usage of the room or requirements from the developers, we can also optimize the usage. Or the designers or architects also use the generative design tool to come up with form finding strategy. In this case, it's um, a lot of different uh, parameters are linked to the model, and the the, the parameters are generating uh, the form. Or we can also use for daylight simulation, so we can get more accurate result. Or um, the the many physics um, simulation can be also linked to Grasshopper that we, um, th in this case, this kinetic structure uh, has a tensor structure as a soft structure which can be analyzed. Um, Revit, in this case, um, high-rise building in South Korea that um, has quite good structural model, but the when it comes to analytical, structural analytical model, it's very some, it's difficult very challenging to get a good analytical model. So in this case, we are just extracting the bounding box and get the uh, orientation of the beam and all these uh, structural elements to extract exact surface or lines to analyze in third-party software such as Sophistic. 
um, um, without visual programming tool, it was almost impossible to organize this analytical model. And in here, um, also nowadays, the currently Rhino is inside of Revit. Um, so you can use um, this visual programming tool directly in in Revit. Um, so which means um, there is no more uh, export and import. Um, the Rhino is now linked directly to Autodesk Revit. So you can create a complex geometry within uh, your script, and it can be very efficient because because structural engineer also can jump into the script and they can take over whole structure and analyze in their application. Uh, most of soft, uh, structural engineering tool these days also offering the grasp for integration, and uh, architectural designers can continue design their um, building or infrastructure project out of the structural model. Um, we can also use this um, workflow to in, in infrastructure project, such as bridge or tunnel. In this case, the every segment of the bridge has different geometry because the um, 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 you know the road access and according to that um, the every segment has different geometry. It's almost impossible to I mean you can model manually in traditional modeling method, but it takes a lot of time to generate this kind of 3D model with traditional modeling method. So visual programming uh, or parametric design tool really can be used for infrastructure project. So parametric design tool is not only form finding or design tool, but you can also use it for engineering purpose or documentation purpose. I found in this case uh, is more powerful at some point because you can really um, mining or leveraging your data uh, in later use. So there are a lot to talk about this workflow. Um, for now, um, I'll close my topics, but if you have more questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, I'm working at Umdash Group Ventures as a BIM specialist. And also, I have, my, I have my own YouTube channel there that you can also, you know, informally you can contact me uh, personally to ask more questions. Um, thanks very much for the opportunity to present um, um, these research and work that I've been working on. And we are looking forward to hearing from you. And I hope we can continue our conversation in the future. So thank you. Bye bye.